excited to see you all today. I feel like it's been a while since I've been able to connect with so many of you, but it's the holiday season. And as you know, Life Pro always comes out with some amazing new products. And today is one of those special days. So we are streaming live right now on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. So if you can give me an idea of where you're listening from and uh, what is it as we are approaching the end of 2022, we're trying to finish this year strong and making it an epic year. Even if you've had a not so pleasant year, we can always finish strong. So I want to hear from all of you in the comment section, if you can give me an idea of uh, what kind of goals you're trying to utilize uh, for a final finish, a strong finish for the end of this year. And this product that I'm releasing today is going to be, you're gonna be able to add it to your tools of your health and wellness, um, fitness movements in order to work on mobility and strength, endurance, a lot of different things. This is actually one of my absolute favorite products um, that we are, we are now coming out with. I've been using something very similar um, for several years, almost 15 years I've been using a product similar to this. Um, much, much more expensive over, you know, almost over a thousand dollars for the original product 15 years ago. So I'm always excited when LifePro is able to come up with a new product, innovate it and provide it at a cost effective for anybody to own it in your home, instead of having to go to a high, a high level gym or a physical therapy clinic in order to be able to utilize it. So, uh, into your goals. And then I want to know um, if, if you're, when you're able to earn this uh, from a family member, or I should say, it, we're not giving one of these away today, unfortunately, but if you're able to receive one of these as a gift, um, what is going to be something that you want to learn how to use uh, in order to improve your life, whether it is getting stronger, whether it's being more balanced, maybe being more agile. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different ways that you can use this new this new uh, tool that we're releasing, this new product. Um, and I, again, I've used it for a variety of different things for human performance, for improving speed and agility, athleticism, but also working on balance with senior citizens. So um, what is an area of your life that you're wanting to get better on for 2023 to make 2023 legendary? Uh, and what are we gonna do to finish strong in 2022? So as I'm seeing here, We've got Wyoming and we've got Cindy coming in today. Hello, everybody. I see Kelly. Oh, and I see Miss Indiana, Mrs. Janky. Super excited to see you on here today. So um, we have got uh, like a, a new product and it's being released today to the first 100 customers that purchase for $49.99. Its regular price is $59.99. And what it is, is called the Glide Master Slide Board, okay? It is a slide board. They had uh, one of these back in the late 80s, early 90s. It was made of some flimsy material, really hard to do some fun stuff with it. Um, and it lasted for a very short time. And then in the rehab world that I'm in, uh, they came out with one that was molded on a hard piece of, uh, of wood with plastic. And they're really, really long, like eight feet long. Uh, this one is only 78.74 inches long by 24 inches wide, and it only weighs three and a half pounds. Whereas the originals that were put out, um, you know, 15, 20 years ago, cost a thousand dollars. They weigh about 70 pounds, and they're 10 feet wide. So that doesn't work for everybody in their house. But for this. You only need about 80 inches by about two feet, and uh, you can use it on a hard surface. That's how they direct you to use it on a hard surface, but I'm gonna show you how to use it on a rubber surface, and I'm going to attempt to use it on the turf because I don't want you to be limited to having a hard floor in order to make this piece of uh, equipment work. And so I'm seeing Colorado. Oh, let me tell you what, Judy, if you're wanting to lose weight and feel the absolute best of you, this is a fun product to use. So. Let's go ahead and get cracking at opening this thing. Um, it comes in a bag about yay long so that you can, it, it, and it's got an opening here so you can actually carry it around with you, take it to a family, family gathering or take it to a local park or gym. And this is, this is how it is when it's all rolled up, okay? So it's not big by any means and it rolls up to about the size of a piece of firewood, right, okay? And I'm, when I unroll this, I didn't want to unroll it and present it um, as is. 
uh, when it's ready to work because I want you to be able to see how convenient and compact it is and I want you to see how to set it up, okay? Uh, when we get it all positioned and ready to go, it's going to look like this right here, okay? So that's the Glide Master slide board. So again, kind of takes you back to the 1980s watching the, the VHS tapes of doing um, the slide and glide with the slippers on, right? We're doing something very similar, but this one's like amazing, amazing product, okay? So we have the slide board, only weighs 3.67 pounds, not very heavy at all, super easy to carry around, to tuck away in a closet, uh, sit underneath the desk, really, really cool. And it comes with your fuzzy booties, okay? So it's coming with a pair of, uh, these are soft, cotton like it's like a I actually don't know what kind of material this is the whole point of having these booties though is to be slick okay so slick is ideal okay and I'm gonna be honest with you you see me today with my shoes on so I'm actually gonna do this with my shoes on you can do it with your shoes off wearing socks but it's more stable and more comfortable and fun if you wear them with your tennis shoes or athletic shoes on, okay? So, and you don't have to be vertical to do this. I'm gonna show you some different ways that you can use it because I've been using it for 15 years. Um, you can use it in a variety of different ways, but these are these are just like an ultra slick uh, type. It's gonna be an ultra slick type of booty that goes on your shoes. So you're gonna wear this on the outside of your shoes. Now, here's the kicker. It only fits a size seven to 10 unisex size shoe. So let's just go men's shoe just to be safe. Seven to 10 size shoe for men's. So that means if you've got big feet like my husband does, a size 13, these booties are not gonna fit. But what you can do is you can go on Amazon and buy extra booties that are just a generic uh, brand of booties. And these will fit a size 14 shoe. Okay, so if you want this product, but you're turned off to the seven to 10 size shoe, then you can go on Amazon and type in slide board booties and you'll find these, um, it's more of a vinyl, very similar to the others, but these will fit a super big foot if you're wanting to use the slide board. It's not a bad thing to have an extra set of booties, but wait a minute, wait a minute. <gasps> When you open up your package, you're gonna get this QR code, okay? And the QR code means you're gonna take a, a picture of that with your phone to light up the website. You're gonna register your warranty, and then guess what? <gasps> We're gonna send you an extra set of booties, okay? So you get an extra set of booties when you register your warranty. So make sure you do that. And if you have any trouble with your booties or your slide board, make sure and call us. And the 800 number, 563-6604. Sunday to Friday, not Saturday, Sunday to Friday, 24 hours a day, okay? Awesome, okay. Now, these are Amber's booties. We're not demonstrating with those. These are Life Pro booties. This is what it's all about, okay? Now, you're gonna find in your handy dandy user manual, okay? You wanna make sure and keep this. Don't stick it in the trash because you don't think you need it since you've already put it all together. Make sure that you open it up, okay? And it's gonna tell you all the specifics on what you need to know on how to assemble. It doesn't take a lot of practice, okay? And um, it's also gonna give you some safety ideas and it's gonna give you a little warm up. So it's gonna give you pages of different stretches that you can do for warm up. And then it's gonna give you some more information about um, the specs and how you can use it with your general exercise routine as it is now. Now, here's what I wanna make sure you all understand. You are gonna feel new muscles that you have never felt before when you use this piece of equipment. Again, it is one of my favorite go-to exercise um, pieces of equipment and I am beyond elated that LifePro, as of today, as of right now, is now releasing one of Amber's favorite things because I've been using a much more expensive version for my rehab of my clients. And this is made for residential use. So you can now have it in your home 
in the first 100 for $49.99. And then after that, you only have to pay $59.99. Unheard of, unheard of in the fitness world to buy a slide board for $59, okay? So make sure you jump on that, okay? So here we go. We have super simple setup instructions. Now, I tested this on my rubber floor, okay? I like rubber floor because we have a non-slip backing on this. On a rubber floor, it doesn't shift a whole lot, okay? But if you have laminate floor or wood floor, or you have the epoxy coating floor, or you have a slick floor, you have little suction cup feet that are going to screw into the slide board that you can compress and like seal into your floor so the slide board doesn't move a whole lot, okay? Now, if you have trouble with your slide board moving and you cannot make use of these because they just don't wanna work for you, if you use a non-slip mat on top and on bottom on your surface, whether it be on turf, carpet, or on a hard floor that these will not suction to, and then you put your slide board on top of that non-slip mat, you'll find that it works just the same, okay? But for safety reasons, and to protect all of you, Life Pro has already included these little suction feet to go on your slide board so that it doesn't shift and then you're having to rebalance. Because again, you're gonna feel new muscles that you've never felt before. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up and then I'm gonna show you how to initiate on how do you get yourself acclimated to it from a super beginner standpoint all the way up to an elite advanced level because th there's no graduating the, the, the glide master, okay? You can take it sky high, um, as challenging as you can, as you can make it, you, you really never can not get enough out of it, okay? <laughs> Yes, Belinda, this is another one of my favorite things. And, and yes, I love to have fun with these. Okay, so we're going to take the, this little cuff off. So this little cuff Velcro's on to hold it together and it's got this nice little carry handle. So if you wanna carry it around by the handle, you can, or if you just wanna tuck it up underneath your arm, you can. And look, it's attached, so you don't have to keep track of it, okay? But that being said, you don't want it to get stuck underneath to where it uh, creates a fall hazard. So make sure you take the end of the Velcro and make sure and Velcro it back to itself so that you can keep track of it, okay? Now, as we unroll it, uh-oh, guess what? Not an uh-oh, it's an aha moment, right? An aha moment. <gasps> we included the exercise poster that comes free with your glide master slide board so we're giving you all kinds of tips and tricks so make sure when you get your poster make sure if you can laminate it that's fantastic if you don't laminate it so that you don't ruin it when you get it wet and all sweaty because you're going to have so much fun on this then just stick it on your wall with some push pins or tape it up so that you don't lose it because this is going to be invaluable when it comes to having fun Okay, yes, I'm definitely going to put the camera down, but I'm actually going to put the Glide Master on the black floor, not the gray floor, for starters. So, yes, we will, we will arrow that down in just a second. Okay, on the bottom side, there's a non slip web. Okay, and on the other side, slick. Yes, super slick, like ice. So you're actually able to pretend like you're ice skating or walking on black ice using the Glide Master. So for those of you that are at home in warm climates where you don't have to deal with this cold weather, if you're trying to improve your overall balance, then make sure and get yourself ordering one of these because these are really, really good for balance training and knowing how to adapt and adjust to black ice or to slick spaces. Um, you can see how long it is. Again, it's about, it's about 80 inches long, so make sure you have plenty of, make sure you have plenty of room, okay? And you don't want to walk on it with your shoes. You wanna make sure when you use it that you, um, and again, it makes a difference if you're able to fold it out and let it set out first. 
uh, I wanted to make sure and show you in the original state. So mine's a little, mine's just a little rumpity bumpity on the ends. But that's where those little feet come in. So you're gonna take your little feet that have a little screw there, okay? And you're gonna put that through here. So we're gonna take the top off. So let me show you here. So you're gonna take this off. It doesn't pop through. You actually have to take the nut off, okay? And we're gonna slide it through the bottom and then we're gonna replace the nut on top, okay? So I'm gonna do that so you can see, but it's not gonna work on my floor because of how, how it's made. Oh, you know what? You can actually pop that right on through. So let's try that again. So I'm gonna, re I'm gonna correct here. Correction, leave the nut on the screw here. Okay, so we're gonna leave that on. And we're gonna push it through. And the way that they've made this is very unique and different from any other that I've ever used. No, oh, hold up here. Well, by good golly, it's not supposed to go that way. I already played around with this and I got it to work earlier. Wait a minute. Okay, so you're watching, 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 and it is not going on there like I want it to. So I'm just going to show you kind of how to, here's instructions in here, but it's going to pop through on the bottom like that, and then it just suctions down to the floor, and when you suction it down to the floor, then the nut will fit up top, but I do, I am correcting. You do have to remove the nut. And it goes through on the bottom, suction it to the ground, and then this goes on top. Like that. Okay? All right. So, something very similar to that. But this does not stick to my floor. So I'm going to show you how to use it without those little pegs if it will not suction to your floor. Because mine does not. Okay? Now, it doesn't hurt anything if you leave them alone. If you leave them on there, it doesn't hurt anything. So there's that. Okay. Now, booty, booty, booty. You got to have the booties, okay? Do not, no, no, no. Do not get on there with your tennis shoes or you will go poof. You will go face plant. We are not responsible for those accidents. So make sure you have the footies on, because if you don't wear the Life Pro footy booties, you're not gonna be able to play, okay? So make sure and put those on. I'm gonna go grab my little stool, so that actually, you know what? I'm gonna use my bench over here. I'm gonna slide my bench over, and you can see how you do this in the seated position first, and we'll make it easier. I know most of you don't have a bench, but uh, nonetheless, you all have a chair, so you can work with that. So, we're gonna put ourselves on the bench. We're gonna put our booties on. They slide right over the top there. Yep. And now here's the thing. If you decide that you don't want to wear your tennies with the boots, then take your tennies off and just put the boots on over your socks because you can do that too. So I'm gonna show you how to ease on, okay? I'm gonna move this a little closer. You can see, you see this action. And you can see right now that it's um, not very level, but again, with time, it'll flatten out. And I, I have had that happen with all of them that I've ever used. So that's totally normal for it to not stay down on the ends because it's been rolled up like a log for a long time. Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. Yep, so we're gonna slide our feet on and we're gonna rise, okay? Now, we're gonna start on the end, okay? And we're not gonna step, because it's really easy to slip. We're going to slide. Slide together, slide out slide together and we're just going to keep on going until we get to the other end where we make contact with the other end and then we're going to slide step slide together 
slide together, slide together, okay? Now, as you get comfortable and you wanna take those stride slides out a little wider, then we're gonna stride out even further, okay? And I know you cannot see this very well because I'm on black, so I'm gonna take it to the gray and I'm gonna put it on a, on a non-slip floor mat so you can actually see what it's like on carpet if you have a non-slip mat. Okay, and so here we go. <clears throat> Again, this is one of my favorite toys ever. I actually made these years ago out of big poster, like a big uh, white whiteboard and two by fours, and it was so expensive to make it. But I wanted to recreate this in my own gym, and they didn't make them uh, when I was ready to use them, so I created my own. And I wouldn't give it anything to have had this back then. This would have been a lot easier. Okay, so if you have a non-slip mat and you slide onto a softer floor, if you don't have a hard floor or you don't feel safe being on a hard floor, you can still use it on carpet, but it's not going to be as easy to slide across. Okay? So you have to be really mindful of your surroundings, but that is how you can use it on a non-slip surface in order to get the best. Uh, if you're wanting to use it at home and you have carpet, you don't have a big enough hard surface, we don't want you to be limited because you don't have the space to be able to use it. So um, if you get yourself a non-slip mat that's wider, this is not wider than the slide board, you're gonna want one that's wider so that you don't have a little rumple in, in the, the slide board. Um, so I'm gonna take this out on your knee because don't forget, we already have a non-slip surface backing on the actual slide board. Oh, looky, here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little couple of tricks here. And again, for those of you who don't really feel safe because of balance issues, there's a variety of different ways that you can use this at home without having to use um, a standing position. If you want to stay in a seated position, you can stay in a seated position. And then I'll show you all the many ways. Killer abs killer arms, killer legs. In fact, let's plan on doing a little combo workout at the very end of December. We're gonna have a finished strong workout with Amber the last week of December featuring my favorite fitness tools and equipment and the Glide Master will be one of them, okay? So we're gonna get on here and if you have, they don't come with, but if you have the Life Pro um, mini bands, which I'll grab here in just a second, you can use those as well, okay? So here's what I want you to think about. Keeping the knees steady, open, close. Open, close, okay? So it's much different when your feet can slide. Oh, we can do some good abs doing this right here, okay? And yes, it is fun, okay? We can take both feet to one side, whoop, and we can go back to the other side. What is this working? This is working our love handles, okay? This is working our side abdominals. And if you wanna get really creative, you can do yourself a little dip, and we can swing from side to side, which is really hard to do, by the way. So, let me show you, I'm gonna go grab those mini bands, and again, they don't come with the kit, but you, if you already have some of our other products, you more than likely already have a set of these. But you're gonna use those. <clears throat> okay, check it out. So we've got mini bands. <laughs> and again, if your slide board doesn't wanna stay flat on the end, the other thing that you can do to keep it down if you're not sliding all the time and regularly and you can't suction them down, is you can put a book um, or a two by four weight. You don't wanna put a dumbbell or anything that's formed because it'll leave an indention in, in the, the glide board itself. 
but you can put something on the ends to keep it from shifting. I'll show you a demonstration on that here in just a second. But we're gonna put the mini loop bands, the leg pro bands, and we're gonna go sliding out, sliding out, sliding in, sliding in, out, out, in, in. Ooh, feel the thighs, okay? So this is an easy way to do this without having to stand. So you can do this in your wheelchair. You can do this from the convenience of your couch. You can do it from your dining room chair. You can even do it on the edge of your bed. If you're really scared about falling on the ice, this is how you train it, okay? We can do both at the same time. Ooh, yeah. Those are those inner outer thighs right there. Inner outer thighs, in and out. Same time, killer, feeling the burn in the booty. Feeling the burn in the thighs. Really, really good stuff, okay? So, <laughs> yes, it is so much fun. We're going to slide. Okay, so we're out, out, slide it in, slide it in. Out, out, in, in. So make sure don't be afraid to use your arms to work it out, okay? Because your arms are for balance. And if you need to put your hands on your body to get started, nobody's watching you. You can do that, you're allowed to do that, you're allowed to try, okay? Now, because I keep buckling up here in the end, I'm gonna take um, a weight and put it on there to keep it flat. Because again, I wanna make sure you know if for some reason, you do not have the convenience of having a hard floor, you're not limited to not being able to get it. You just have to find a different way to anchor it down. And there we go, the Fit Fighter hose. Now, here's a little secret. If you are wanting to make it slicker so you really slide across, Furniture polish goes a long way, but they actually make a spray that you can use on here to keep it clean. So when you have one at home and you use it over and over and over again, and it gets dirty because of dust, you can take a spray to clean it off and it makes it crazy slick, which makes it so much fun. So I'll show you how to do that here in just a second because I have that spray, okay? So we're just going to hustle across Oh yeah, now we working. Now, you have to get comfortable to sliding first before you actually try to glide fast. So the idea is to make it all the way across in one scoot, but it's not slick enough to do that. So you have to lube it up a little bit. And if you're not used to doing that, don't try that at home for the first time without practicing with some smaller steps. That's not a good idea, that's silly. Okay, now, that's how you can do some of those. Now, the other thing we can do is we can turn sideways, watch, wait for it, step back, woo, yeah, working that booty. Slide back, coming back together. Slide back, coming back together. So, there's a lot of different ways that you can use it. If you get rid of the band, okay, if we get rid of the band, we can slide back and come back to, okay? Slide back and pop to. And what makes it more fun is if you slide back and pop like a rocket, then when we pop like a rocket, inside out, lots and lots of inner thighs adductors and lots of booty lift, okay? So we've talked about love handles. We've talked about thighs and booty, okay? Let me situate myself here again because I might be a little too strong for some of these movements. But we slide back. Don't have to touch your knee down. Come back to, okay? Slide back, come back to. Now, we can also watch. If you wanna take your hand, place it on your knee so that you don't lose balance, slide out. Slide back in, slide out, and bring it back in. Now the whole time, my booty is sitting straight behind the heel. So I'm not sitting with my knees out in front of me. That's a no-no, okay? 
Booty sits back on the heel, okay? Hand stays here, slide out, slide in, okay? You get butt, hips, love handles, inner thighs, and outer thighs. It is a one movement life changer. But again, you are gonna feel some new muscles you've never felt before after playing with this the first time. So do plan on waddling around like a penguin for a couple of days after you get on it because it's going to magnify and ignite some new muscles. And I wanna make sure that we're not causing an injury by feeling a little discomfort because it's a good thing when you feel new things that you've not felt before. So hand on the knee, slide out, slide in, okay? And if we're wanting to work more on our bottom, we're gonna turn our toe inward instead of turning it outward, okay? So keeping our toe turned in is gonna really light up your gluteus medius minimus, and that's what's going to help you hip stabilizing. So if we have hip pain or back pain, this will help that pain go away really quick. All you need is about five minutes a day. Five minute workout a day on here for the legs. And then, oop, let's slide across, hold, knee comes in, take it out. So we can slide across and we can work, we can get a little tunes, some music going, bum and bum, and slide across, hold, bum and bum, slide across, hold, right? <laughs> So yes, I'm loving, I'm loving your comments. This is awesome. It is. Life Pro is, is lifesaver. Genius. Thank you, Joel Lane, for coming up with some awesome stuff. If you feel more safe being towards the end, maybe you have a chair here. We can slide out, come together. Or watch, slide out and angle, come back to. So those of you that like the bar workouts, out, come back to. And we're going to feel that through here in our love handle region. And if you're trying to get rid of the bat wings, as we can jokingly call them, right? Then you're gonna work all of these lines. So out, coming back in, out, coming back in. And then we can slide across and we can reverse and do the same thing on the other side. So slide out, pull back in, out, Pull back in. Now, you're gonna see that my glide master is a little rippled, okay? And that happens, my friends, because it's not on a hard surface. So if you're wanting the best out of your glide master, <coughs> you need to make sure you're on a hard surface <coughs> because it truly works the best when it's on a hard, fixed surface. There we go. Yeah. And then we can really scoot across. Okay. Now, those are just a couple of things. I don't want to give away all my secrets because then I have no reason to have you come back the next week that we do these. So we're going to save a fun workout for the last week of the year. Yours truly. With Life Pro and the Glide Master, I'll put you through a wonderful workout, total body. You can take and pull whatever you want from it and create and build your own workout. But I'll give you all the tips and tricks for that. So let me adjust here again. Hello from California. <clears throat> now, what can I do with my upper body? Okay, let me show you this. This is really cool. If you can get yourself a pillow or a foam mat to sit underneath of your knees, you're going to need that for this exercise. And you can use a regular mat and just fold it up several times. So you can take a half folded mat or you can take a memory foam block. Either one will work. And we're just going to sit it right there on the end. And you can put the boots on your hands. Yep, you heard it. Boots on the hands, boots on the hands. Okay? So we can go boots on the palms. And this is another favorite exercise. Okay? And when we get them on our hands, 
We just turn our hands into flat palms, okay? We're gonna slide out, slide back in. So now, we're just using our hands, okay? And if you feel uncomfortable doing this uh, both at the same time because you've never done it before, we can do one at a time. So we can go out to a kneeling position here. We just slide forward one and bring it back in. Slide out forward, bring it back in. We can do that all chain, back and forth, okay? Ah, but wait a second. Um, I have, oh, it's around my ankles. So now we're gonna take the mini band. We're gonna put the mini band around the wrist with my booties on, okay? Booty on, band on, okay? And we're gonna go back down to that kneeling position, okay? Booty band on as we are sliding forward, okay? Sliding out, back, back. Slide out, back, back. Now, when you're sliding out, here's what I want you to remember. Imagine having a $100 bill. I want you to tuck it up inside your booty, butt crack, clinch it tight so nobody can steal away from you, okay? And keep that $100 bill in your booty, which means you're using your butt in order to help slide back. So then it becomes a total body exercise. I'm not just using my arms and my abs. So squeeze your booty as tight as you can, like there's a $100 bill there. Slide out, ooh, squeeze it really, really tight. Nobody takes your $100 bill. Slide back one hand, slide back the other hand, pull back. Now it's total body. Slide out, squeeze tight, pull, pull, bring it on back, okay? Slide out, squeeze your body as tight as you can, pull back in, okay? We can also go all the way down to our forearms. Slide out, back, 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 back. Slide all the way out flat. Oh, yep, it's a burner. Definitely a burner. So that's how you can do total body abs, laying on the ground, leaning out, coming back in. Now, <clears throat> for those of you who are really wanting to work your booty, okay, we're gonna take the bands off. We're gonna put the booties back on our feet. Put a little something like this. Got one there. Working on some balance tricks, trying to get the booty on, right? And again, size seven to 10, men's shoe. If you don't fit into the booties, you can buy some generic replacement booties on Amazon for up to size 15. Now, uh, from here, we're going to, I'm gonna have myself laying down on the floor behind me here. So I have my mat here ready. Kind of. There we go. Now watch this. So I'm gonna lay down, okay? And my butt is right up on the edge, okay? Now from here, what I'm going to suggest you do is take one foot off. So one foot is off the mat, off the, off the glide master. The other foot stays on. We're gonna lift our butt up. We're gonna slide out, slide back in. Slide out, slide back in, okay? These are not easy exercises, my friends. Really hard to do. I should've worn bright colored pants so you can see the difference. I promise you, I will wear bright colored pants for the final workout of the year. So booty up, slide out, slide in. Booty stays up, slide the other leg out, slide it back in. If you need a break, let your booty rest, pop it back up, slide out, slide in, booty drop. Squeeze the cheeks, lift high, leg comes out, leg comes in, drop it like it's hot, okay? And then if you need to stretch that low back out, bring those feet to your chest, do a little rocker, and then feet come back down, okay? Now, we just worked on the booty, Let's work on some abs even more, okay? So now, we're gonna go face down. Same, same spot as we started in. Okay, so now, we're gonna start push-up position. Push-up position. Slide one in, slide it out. Slide in, slide out. Now, 
If you have a really hard time holding that position, you can take one foot off the glide master slide board onto the floor to stabilize while you're running the other one. So if I take one foot up, okay, and I can just slide one of my legs, that sometimes is easier than trying to stabilize both on a slick surface. The other thing you can do is we're gonna pop up just a little bit and slide one foot out. Okay, slide the other foot out. We can go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. A lot of cool things you can do there. Now, we worked our back, our booty, our thighs, our arms, our abs, our upper back. Now watch this. This is the final, this is the final one. We're gonna go face down and we're going to spread open into V's, okay? So I'm gonna be facing that way so you can get to see the back side of me. So we're gonna go, actually that's not right. You can see me, haha, <laughs> face down, toes are on the slide board, okay? So we're here, okay? You can do this from a kneeling position or you can do it from a plank, okay? A couple different ways of doing this. So we're up, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. That's the basic, okay? Open, open, close, close, okay? Now, the other thing you can do is glide open and close all at once. Takes a lot for this one. So don't be upset if you're not good at this part. Open and close, open, close, out, out, in, in, out, out, and close. So we're just back and forth. Okay? Yes. Absolute thigh, booty, back, belly, buster. Buster, buster, right? <laughs> so yes, there are so many different ways you can use this. So many different ways. <clears throat> and again, I just have weights on the end to keep it in place because uh, my floor will not hold the suction cups, but we're just sidestepping a little bit at a time. Watch this, coming across, getting used to it. We're going backwards. Yep, mm-hmm. So we find the end, going forward. Take it back. Okay, now we can work on scooting really quick. And then again, if you put the mini band on, whoo, buddy, super, super thigh buster. Okay, so again, $49.99 for the first 100 sold, $59.99 goes up from there, 78.74 inches long, so make sure you've got 80 inches available, 24 inches wide, Weighs about four pounds, a little less than four pounds. And the booties fit a size seven to 10 men's shoe. Limited to the lifetime warranty as always. La-di-da. Yep, so you get what I'm saying? So much fun. Okay, now let's see here. Yeah, I love the moonwalk and burn, 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 burn. So if you're wanting to lift your booty, Trim these down, have some fun, then you can do that. How slippery is it? And the goal to side all the way side to side like a skier. Yes. Now, it's not as slick as it comes as it can be. So you newbies, you beginners, you rookies, you're gonna slide on and we're just going to work our way across until you get comfortable with it. As it accumulates dust, and mark my words, it will, it's harder to move. So make sure that you keep the surface nice and, nice and clean. You can use a sanitizing wipe. You can use glass cleaner like Windex. Um, you can, I would not, okay, so here's the thing. If you're wanting to make it crazy slick, you use furniture polish or like a, a, a car wax, okay? If you take a spray car wax or like a detailer, that doesn't have to be rinsed 
and polish it that way, a little wax on, wax off, it will be crazy slick, which makes it really fun for those who are into super slick, okay? Now, I have my shoes on, which makes it more stable for balance if you're just getting started, but you can do it in your bare feet. You don't, or I should say your, with your shoes off. So you can do it with your socks on, but you need to make sure you're using our footies, our booties, and not just your regular socks because your regular socks, you might wear a hole in your socks because it's not the same kind of material that keeps this going. If you're wanting it to be super slick, I'm gonna show you before and after. <clears throat> Let me grab my stuff. Wait for it. Okay, I didn't see my stuff over there, but I'm gonna take just a regular wipe and we're gonna wipe it off. So there's how you wipe it down. If you have animals and you get animal hair on it, where you sweat, because guess what? You're gonna sweat if you get up to speed. And then once you clear it off, then it gets like really slick. Woohoo! Take off! Yippee! Okay, so as you wipe it off, it gets a lot slicker. Okay, and then you can start doing party tricks. Okay, but I've been doing it, guys. I've been doing it for like almost 20 years. Don't try it at home until you've mastered the basics, okay? I'm not telling you to be doing little leap jumps, okay, or little flip turns. Okay, don't, let's not try and have a contest to see who can do the funnest trick, okay? Stick to the basics until you're able to get it down, all right? Baby steps. So again, if you take off the booties, and if you have trouble getting them on off, just peel them off, pop them right side out. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Shoes are off, booties going on, and they're gonna fit men or big feet, longer feet, those closer to that men's 10, better with shoes off than with shoes on. But it feels different when you're working barefoot than when you have tennis shoes on. It works either way, my friends, so make sure that you find what works best for you. And now if you look here, when I pull that off, it stays. Okay, so it just takes a little bit of time for the slide board to maintain its flattened out shape if you don't have a way to suction them to your floor. But it, again, if you don't have a hard floor and you just have carpet or you have rubber or you have something uh, like tile that's consistent and you have a hard time with getting those little suction cups to work, you can still use it and, and have, have some fun with it. Um, but make sure that you ease on nice and slow. Maybe you need to get a stool or a chair and master the basics first. We can work on, for those of you, I'll tell you what, if you have just had a total knee, total hip replacement, a knee surgery of some sort, foot ankle injury, and you're trying to work on range of motion in, in some form or another, you can have a seat and just work on sliding that leg in and out, okay? Working on that knee motion, working on hip strengthening, working on pulling the toes up and tucking back underneath as you pull back too. We can work on opening the thighs, closing the thighs. So if you've had a hip injury and you're working back from hip injury, okay? We can turn this into a seated dip position out and in. And if you have trouble, if you have trouble with doing these exercises from a standing position or from down on the floor, we can bend over on a bench, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, open and close. So if you can, if you can't hold yourself up, bring the floor up to you by using something that's more elevated. So there's so many different ways that you can do it, but Super excited to see you all today. 
Yes, if you need a stabilizer bar or something like a sideways walker, because uh, you don't want to go too fast, you can totally do that. We can, it's like going ice skating, or even better, we're going roller skating. Right? So if we're going skating, you know, they have those little PVC um, supports that you can that you can push around so that you are stabilized. So you can use a walker on wheels if you want to. The challenging part is you can't have it on the slide board. You want to make sure and just keep your feet with no dirty shoes on the slide board in order to get the best life out of it. Okay? But yes, you can slide all the way across. That's what makes it really fun. Super fun! Yes! But just know it might make you a little ooly ooly, a little off, a little balanced, challenged, but that's what makes it fun. And then when you're able to start doing it, um, I've got clients that we did this years ago. And I'll never forget, I got a phone call from a client who was using my homemade slide boards, which are not pretty. Matter of fact, they're long, long gone in the dumpster because they're just so much work um, to keep track of and put them together. These are super simple. I'll never forget a phone call from a client that said, Amber, I didn't realize how powerful your exercises in your class are with this fun equipment until I was stepping into the shower and didn't realize how slick the shower was because somebody had poured oil in it in the shower before and they slipped in the shower but was able to catch themselves because they had been trained on a slide board. So their body knew how to react instantly and they recovered without slipping in the tub and they were so excited by how, uh, how they were able to rebalance in a very slick, stable, a slick, unstable surface. And so my point is, if you are not used to being out on ice, you're not used to being out in slick spaces and uh, athletes, okay? If you've got athletes who are used to uh, pitching on a turf mound or pitching on, uh, you know, in, in dry circumstances, and I do a lot of these kinds of exercises with the athletes that I work with, because if we can train them or train you how to, slip and slide in an unstable surface, but in a controlled environment, then when it actually happens and you're not seeing it coming, your brain just automatically knows what to do because it's already been there in a controlled situation. So it's a really cool piece of equipment for preparing and priming your body for the unexpected accident that could happen. And because your body has already been there and done that, you actually correct before you realize that it could have been an accident to begin with. So our brain is really miraculous in how it remembers certain things. And so when we prepare our body to do the unthinkable, right? You don't have to be too young or too old. You don't have to be big or small. There's no weight limit for the, for the glide master. You can do, you can do a lot of things, um, whether you have the ability to do it uh, like the, the athletes do. It's like you don't have to be strong enough or balanced enough to get on the glide master. You get on the glide master to get strong, balanced, endurance, and have some fun. Okay. So don't train to get on it. You get on it to train to enjoy you. Okay. All right. $49.99 for the first 100 sold. Make sure you order it sooner than later because it's holiday season. And I don't know if any of you guys have um, Secret Santa or if you buy for family or for coworkers or you get to take a, a gift and exchange it. If you have a $50 limit and you buy one of those and take it to one of those exchanges, you are gonna be the coolest person in the room because everybody's gonna want one of those and not everybody's gonna get one. So. Make sure and um, get it now versus later because I'm sure they're going to sell out of these. It's just a really neat piece of equipment for athletes, for the general population, for seniors, for those who are just coming out of surgery, for knee hip uh, replacement, uh, knee arthroscopic surgery, so ACL, meniscus, MCL, LCL type related injury coming off of a fracture, trying to acclimate your way back in. Uh, I do rehab on these things all the time. And until Life Pro uh, came out with the Glide Master, I have used a professional version that they use for hockey to train hockey athletes 
um, in an icy environment without being on the ice. But those slide boards are really expensive, like up to $1,000. So just $49.99 today for the first 100 and $59.99 thereafter. And again, until supplies last. So don't hold out, push by now. Um, that being said, I am going to go order some, some, some presents because I know Live Pro is running some amazing specials right now. If you haven't been on uh, the cyber specials, they've got some specials running out, I think through the end of the week. And we're always coming up with new and new specials. So uh, we've got more products that are coming throughout the end of the year, things that we've never launched before uh, or, or uh, you know, types of different types of technologies. Um, but, but don't wait to see what those products are um, because we already have the really cool stuff that's out too. So have fun and happy holidays to you if you celebrate holidays. And if you don't, uh, just thank you for being here and thank you for putting time into yourself for learning and for giving life for the opportunity to serve a purpose greater than ourselves uh, because that's what greatness and um, you know, that's what it's all about. It's, it's about giving back and sharing with all of you. So I'm always excited to see your happy comments and your waves and your hearts and your love. And uh, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can email us support at lifeprofitness.com. You can post on the VIP group in Facebook. You can send us a DM through um, our Instagram account. And with YouTube, you can comment in the section if you need one of us to reach out to you. We've got people who are always listening and watching. And worst case scenario, just text me directly and I'll get somebody who uh, needs to hear about it. If I don't have the answer, I'll find the answer for you. Um, and so uh, I think that that's all I wanted to share with you today because I am having some fun with the new Glide Master. So here is to a fantastic day. And thank you all very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.